Hello everybody, my name's Finn O'Regan. I'd like to talk to you about our new Behaviour for Learning course, which is called Get Out of My Face, It's Not Fair and You Don't Understand Me At All. How many times have you heard that, both in the school and a home situation? This is a course primarily for teachers, but also for parents when you are working and supporting children who have behavioural differences. It's in seven sessions. Session one, we'll be talking to you about behaviour as a message. We'll be saying, what's the, what's the message telling you? We're introducing you also to a, a process or a, a, a formula for behaviour management called SF3R. S is for, is for structure, F, flexibility, and the three R's are rapport, relationships, and resilience. Session two, we're going to get rid of the word behaviour for a while. We're going to talk to you more about how you can use it in practice and we're talking to you more about management of mood not so much behavior and we'll be talking to you also about the three key moods number one is your mood second one is their mood and the third mood is the mood of the others and who they are will be other students in the class and also the siblings who may be winding them up session three we're going to talk about structure and we're going to talk to you about how we can put out those expectations those boundaries to make people feel safe and secure the session after that is going to be on flexibility and flexibility is going to be the key element of working with structure, complementing structure, not uh, contradicting it but working with it. After that we've got the first of the R's which is rapport and rapport is going to be getting their trust and getting their trust from some of those people who are, are pushing back at you. Now amidst all of this as well we'll be talking to you about some of those more neurodiversity issues and some of the students who display those types of traits. And so we'll be talking about oppositional defiant disorder, we'll be talking about ADHD, we'll also be mentioning ASD as well, in terms of how we can understand the rhythms and the traits that those particular students may have in terms of what we do. After that we've got relationships, and that's going to be a key one, because we're not talking just about you and them, we're talking about them and them, and how other students and other peers and siblings can react to those people who are a little bit different be it developmental or just in terms of temperament. Finally, wrapping it up will be resilience. That's the sort of ability then when we can kind of let them fly. They've now got the they've now got the self-belief, they've got the self-efficiency, and they've got the stickability to try and deal with some of the challenges taking place ahead, including transitions and including you know those opportunities to react to situations in a in a more positive way. So that's going to be the course. Uh, we'll have some uh, stories, have some anecdotes. There'll be some uh, fun. We, I promise you it won't be boring because that's going to feature in this as well. No boredom. And there'll be some activities. There'll be slides and also there'll be some other resources which we'll send and you'll get as well as this. I've been working in the field of uh, behaviour learning and socialisation issues now for the last 25 years. I was a head teacher of the first school in uh, South London actually, uh, it wasn't even in North London, it was in South London for children with ADHD, ASD, Oppositional Defiant Disorder. I've written uh, over 12 books now, do an awful lot of work both internationally and nationally in helping children, families, teachers and businesses with children who have neurodiversity issues. This course is a very practical course, we hope you enjoy it. We look forward to uh, seeing you and being with you for seven sessions. Be safe, uh, be kind and take care of yourself in these most unusual times. Bye bye.